a big chew fest over here. It's a little honey badger. Call her honey for short. And uh, Ruka. I hold some of them up here. That's the beautiful thing you with them. some of the benefits of the uh, super dog program I'm able to uh, here hold it up for example I'm able to basically do what I want to these puppies look how relaxed they are you know they don't care about being pet touched held upside down I mean look how compliant there again that's all benefits of that uh, super dog program Big male. Looking good. And again, benefits of the super dog program. Look how relaxed they are. I'll hold them upside down and side. Again. Most puppies won't put up with that, you know, especially 22 days old. That early neurological uh, stimulation really makes them so that they're able to handle that kind of stuff and be laid back and adjusted well with it. Female. Again, every puppy in this litter. Look how relaxed there. Rub their feet. They don't care. Again, it's all benefits of that early neurological stimulation exercises that we did with them. I'm chewing on my Achilles tendon down there. It's another great big female. Again, 22 days old. Again, every puppy that can do this too showed you some of the importance of doing these exercises that I showed you with my early neurological stimulation videos between uh, the ages of uh, 3 and uh, day 16. You do it every day for 14 days. So I'll leave some information in the video description. It really creates dogs that are very relaxed, compliant, and, and again, don't get rattled by this stuff. I mean, I can do anything to these puppies in there. They're pretty relaxed. It's a good time too at this age. We handle their feet, get them used to that. All those have benefits later on. Right here's the uh, little honey badger. That's the one I saved. Chew the hell out of my toes. Again, that early neurological stimulation really keeps creates compliant puppies who don't get rattled in stressful situations. I mean, look at her. She can care less. She's upside down. She doesn't care. than everybody else. You get all these puppies. Look how relaxed they are. Totally trusting everything I'm doing. Again, I can't stress again, if you're uh, a breeder and you have a litter, these 
Early neurological stimulation exercises have really lasting effects on the dogs and they really take very little time and effort to do during this 14-day uh, window when they're uh, developing all that stuff. Last but not least, we got uh, a big boy. I love this pup. Again, him too. Look at him up. Look how relaxed there. Shoot down from above just because he looks so cute. <laughs> Look how relaxed there. How much he trusts me. You don't see any squirming, any trying to get away. He's not upset. Totally relaxed. Doesn't take a lot of effort for breeders to do this and it really does have lasting effects on the puppies. Again, they're getting huge. They change every day. Giving you a shot of uh, day 22. Cuticle, thanks. That's that little boy. Honey badger there. getting around good for those who are looking forward to their first eating video that comes uh, during week four the honey badger chewing on her sister's head it's Kratos back there trying to take uh, that pup down <laughs> the god killer practicing Ruka right there. It's the honey badger. It's Kratos and one of the girls.
Kratos, that's Ruka, that's the honey badger. And the black girls, I gotta, yeah, boy, I gotta look at close to tell them apart. You gotta look at the white on their chest, which I can't see very well right now. Hey Max, why don't you let Ulu in? Mom's getting ready to come in. Soon you're gonna see them all latch on to her. Oh, is she wet? A little bit. Mom was just outside going potty and it started to rain on her. they change every day. Again, I like to show them before she comes in so you can see them play and then uh, how they uh, really wake up when she comes in so they can lock on to her. Kratos, there you, you see him standing away like that from the other pups. He, he was uh, peeing. <laughs> and mom's over there uh, checking it out now. But yeah, that's why he was standing there like that. He was going potty. They now go potty on their own, though mom does still clean up after them. And she does feed them now, uh, often uh, sitting and uh, standing. It's a way to exercise the pups and make them stronger. You know, walking around, uh, making them uh, have to stand up to do that. Well, that's all. That's the litter for today. See you again for tomorrow's update. Bye.